What if I told you that one of the greatest military generals in history, Alexander the Great, once ventured into the vast landscapes of Africa in search of glory and expansion? Today we delve into the annals of history and unravel the chronicles of Alexander's African expedition. It was in the early years of Alexander's reign, after the unification of Greece, when the ambitious young king turned his gaze towards the continent of Africa. His first stop was Egypt, then under Persian control. In the year 332 before the Common Era, Alexander embarked on his African journey, leading a formidable force across the Mediterranean Sea. Upon reaching Egypt, the Macedonian king was welcomed as a liberator, freeing the Egyptians from Persian rule. Alexander did not waste time. He established the city of Alexandria, a testament to his name and legacy, which would later become one of the most important cultural and intellectual centers of the ancient world. Following his success in Egypt, Alexander's ambition grew. He decided to consult the Oracle of Siwa, a revered entity believed to communicate the will of the gods. The journey across the unforgiving Sahara was a perilous one, but Alexander's resolve was unshaken. After braving sandstorms and extreme temperatures, he finally reached the Oracle. The prophecies he received there, although shrouded in mystery, are believed to have affirmed his divine status and destiny to conquer the world, further fueling his ambitious pursuits. However, Alexander's African expedition was not all plain sailing. His attempt to penetrate further into the African continent, beyond Egypt, was thwarted by a combination of logistical challenges and fierce resistance from local tribes. This resistance marked the limits of his African expedition. And the indomitable Alexander was forced to turn back, shifting his focus to the east, towards Persia and India. So, what have we uncovered today? We've journeyed through the early years of Alexander's reign and his ambitious expedition to Africa. We've witnessed his liberation of Egypt and the establishment of Alexandria, a city that still thrives today. We've trekked with him across the Sahara to consult the Oracle of Siwa, a journey that fortified his resolve and ambition. Lastly, we've seen the challenges he faced in his further African endeavors, a rare moment of setback for the otherwise unstoppable military leader. In the grand tapestry of Alexander's life, his African expedition stands as a testament to his ambition, his strategic acumen and his willingness to face seemingly insurmountable challenges. It is a chapter in the life of a man who, though his life was short, left an indelible mark on the pages of history. This expedition, like Alexander himself, serves to remind us of the boundless potential of human ambition and the relentless pursuit of greatness. As we close this chapter of our historical exploration, remember this, history is not just about events and dates, it's about people, their ambitions, their triumphs and their defeats. It's about understanding the past to better navigate the future. So until we meet again in the next chapter of our historical journey, keep exploring, keep questioning and keep learning.